strength of the nation, now heard on 1,000 radio stations. Proudly, we hail. It's Proudly We Hail, starring Dennis O'Keefe in The Letter, the United States Army and United States Air Force presentation. And now here is your host, the well-known Hollywood showman, C.P. McGregor. Thank you, thank you. Greetings from Hollywood, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome once again to Proudly We Hail. This week, the nation commemorates Army Week. And as part of Army Week, we present a story dedicated to one of the truly great divisions of the Army, the famous 3rd Infantry Division. Our story is called The Letter, and starring in the role of Sergeant Warshock, we're fortunate indeed to have that fine young actor of motion pictures, Dennis O'Keefe. Act one in a moment, but first, a brief message from Wendell Niles. Veterans of the 3rd Division, attention. I have special news for you men who served in this famous Army outfit. You can now qualify for direct enlistment in a unit of the 3rd Division. The 7th Regimental Combat Team is being brought to full strength for service with the infantry school at Fort Benning. And you 3rd Division veterans have priority on this assignment. Listen later in the program for details. Now, once again, our producer. And now, Act One of The Letter, starring Dennis O'Keefe as Sergeant Warshaw. <laughs> Maybe you don't remember the exact date, November the 8th, 1942. But if you were there, you'll never forget what happened in the cold gray dawn of that morning. Operation Torch was underway. For hours, naval guns had been pouring shells into the hostile shore defenses. And now the assault waves were headed for the beach at Bedalo, French Morocco. Yes, the torch was lit. The die was cast. The Allied invasion of Africa begun. In the bleak darkness of the morning, one of the small landing crafts moving toward shore as part of an assault wave huddles a group of 3rd Division soldiers. Our story concerns two of these men, Sergeant Warshock and PFC Fred Benson. Hey, Sarge. Who's that? Benson. Uh, didn't see who it was in the dark. What do you want, Benson? What time is it? What do you care? You're not going anywhere. Ah, sure we are, Sarge. We're going to the movies and see Lana Turner. <laughs> shut up. Shut up, you lugs. Won't be so wise in a little while. No, the reason I asked, I was just thinking... Sarge. Yeah? Are you married? No. No, I'm not married. Oh. Well, I am. Almost a year now. Ah, tell me more. Well, that's the reason I asked you what time it was. I, I was wondering what my wife would be doing now. Right now. I'll be glad when this rotten war's over. It'll be a long time yet, soldier, a long time. But suppose the Germans gave up tomorrow. Suppose we take Africa. And suppose the Germans decide... Can it, can so... it, chum. Nobody's giving up tomorrow the day after tomorrow. There's a lot of hard fighting ahead, and you and I are the ones that are going to do it, too. Keep your heads down, men. Short guns are opening up. So, do you know what my wife said to me when I left? No, Benson, I don't know what your wife said to you when you left. She didn't cry or make a fuss or anything. She just put her arms around me and said, hurry back. And I suppose you said, sure, sure. I'm just going off on a little tour. Don't wait up for me. I might be a couple of days late. Oh. Ah, look, fella, we all miss our wives at home. Stop thinking about it. Concentrate on what's going to happen when we hit that beach. Go over the plan. Yeah. Go over the plan. Okay, men, get ready. Remember, I mean, there's a hundred yards of beach between you and the trees. They'll have machine guns covering it. So don't kid yourself about those rocks on the edge of the beach. When we hit, fan out. And don't lose time making for the trees. Once in the trees, we'll regroup and head for the assembly point. Okay? Ready now? This is it. Uh, 
everybody make it, Corporal? I think so, Sarge. Yeah, we're lucky. Machine gun fire was murder. It's going to take time to clean them out, too. Yeah. Say. What? I was just counting noses. Where's Benson? Benson? Anybody seen Benson? Yeah, he was behind me, Sarge. I didn't see him after we got to the beach, though. He must have been hit. Oh. I'll go back and look for him. Corporal, you know where the assembly point is? Right. You take the platoon and go ahead. Got you, Sarge. On your feet, man. Let's go. I'll be with you as soon as I find Benson. If I find him. Keep your nose buried in the sand, Sarge. Don't worry. Blasted beach. More rock than sand. Blazes could that guy be? Just like the poor devil to be the first one to get it. Hey, Sarge. Sarge. Benson. Benson, you okay, fella? Yeah, I think so. You hit? Where'd they get you? No, I- I'm okay. Now, what are you doing here, hiding back of this rock? I... I... Come on, come on, spill it. What are you crouching here for? Why didn't you head for the trees like I told you? I couldn't, Sarge. I... You couldn't? Why? I froze. You what? I couldn't move. I tried to make myself move, but I couldn't. I didn't care what happened to me here. But I just couldn't move out onto that beach. Into the fire of those machine guns. Listen, listen, you're scared, and I'm scared. And you can bet your Aunt Lula's old blue bonnet we're all scared. We still got a job here. By heaven, we're going to do it, and that includes you, Benson. Yeah. All right, Sarge, all right. I'm not a coward, Sarge. I know you're not, Benson. If you were a coward, your wife wouldn't love you the way she does. Yeah, sure. It was, it was just that I couldn't move. Not a muscle. I, I just froze, Sarge. Sure, sure, I know. We all feel that way, Benson. But we got to keep going. The faster we move, the sooner it'll all be over. Maybe it'll be sooner than you expect. We don't like it, but when they start pouring that hot lead our way, we got to keep going, whether we're afraid or not. It's not just for yourself, it's for the other guys. For the people back home. Now, how about it, Benson? You get what I mean? Sure, Sarge. I didn't mean to let you down. But it won't happen again. I'm okay now, you can count on me. Forget it. Right now, we have to catch up with the platoon. Follow me a few feet back. Keep your head down. Don't get any sand in that rifle. The 3rd Division went on to take Fadala, and with the Allied armies, Casablanca. After months of bitter fighting, the Nazis were driven out of Africa. More training for the 3rd Division. Then, one afternoon, the division stood in formation following a review. Sergeant Warsock's platoon was at usual place with the company, and PFC Benson was sounding off. All right, sister. Pop, right, let's uh, get this thing over with. Yeah, me for the sack after this. I'm pooped. Me quiet, too. Quiet, dog oh. faces. You're supposed to be at attention. Men! Uh, Commanding General. At ease. Men, the momentous hour we've all anticipated is at hand. For weeks we've been preparing for this. You've been trained in your individual jobs, each one adding to the success of our mission. That goes for you too, Benson. We do not know the meaning of the word failure. We know only that we'll be successful. I'm justly proud of the accomplishments of you men in the campaign so far. He didn't mean you, Benson. Now, Lay tomorrow, off the guy, Russo. Uh, I don't see any medals on you. The invasion of Sicily. You're going to meet the boss. Carve your name in his face. The mighty Allied Armada discharged his cargo of fighting men and machines on the shores of Sicily. Inward they fought, pressing forward to their objectives. Walking along a dusty road at the head of his men is Sergeant Warshock and one of his corporals. All right, guys, take five. Oh, 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 where are we heading, Sarge? Uh, Palermo. Palermo? Jumping catfish, that's a long way off. Yeah, about a hundred miles. Mm. How long we got to get there? A week? A week? Huh. I wish. Give me a cigarette, will you? According to the lieutenant, we're due there in five days. Huh? Five days? Holy mackerel, 20 miles a day. That's a lot of walking. That's ah, no worse than the Louisiana maneuvers. Here's your butt. Thanks. Suppose we run into trouble. Probably will. You got a match? Don't you carry nothing, Sarge? 
Expect we'll run into Jerry in the next town, a mile or two up the road. Thanks. Right now, we got to keep moving. Yeah, you can say that again. 20 miles a day. Oh, my aching back. Hey, uh, Sarge, what about Benson? What about him? Well, what do you keep babying the guy for? Why don't you get rid of him? I'm not babying him. Benson's all right. Takes some guys a long time to get used to all this. He's one of them. I'll straighten out all right. Yeah, the guy's no good. He's yellow. Hope to Han I never have to depend on him to save my neck. Ah, you got him wrong. He'll come around. Eh. Hey, where is he now? I don't see him back there. Uh, I don't either. All right, man. Let's get moving. Oh, oh, I'll drop out. back and see what happened to Benson. Oh. Carry on, Corporal. You seen Benson Williams? Not me, Sarge. You guys know where Benson is? Yeah. Yeah, he fell out about a half mile back. Well, now, what the devil for? What'd he oh, say? Darn if I know. We were passing one of those empty farmhouses, and he took a powder into the place. Maybe he decided to write a letter to his wife. Stow it, egghead. Maybe he's sick. Yeah, he's sick. Homesick. Benson. Oh. What are you doing here? Oh, uh, sit down, Sarge. I was... Uh... I can see. Letter writing. Now, get out of here double time and join your outfit. Well, if you let me explain, I... Don't I... talk back to me. This is your last chance, Benson. You fall out again like you've been doing, and I'll prefer charges against you for malingering. Sergeant, if you only... I gotta get this letter off to my wife. Don't argue with me, Benson. I mean it. This is your last chance. Now, go on, scram. Get going. Okay, Sarge. Okay. We pause briefly from our story, The Letter, starring Dennis O'Keefe as Sergeant Warshock to bring you an important message from your government. All you veterans of the Army's famous 3rd Division, how'd you like to be with your old outfit on a special assignment? Well, listen then. The 7th Regimental Combat Team of the 3rd Division is being recruited to full strength, and here's why. Crack troops are needed at the infantry school at Fort Benning, Georgia. You former members of the 3rd, because of your record and experience, are given first chance. If you qualify and enlist for three years, you may be assigned directly to the 7th Regimental Combat Team. You'll be stationed at Fort Benning, Georgia. Some of you specially skilled will be able to enlist in the non-commissioned ranks. And I don't have to tell you veterans how much that high army pay means these days. Ex-service men of other outfits are eligible for this opportunity, too. So look into this, veterans. Get the details right away at your local U.S. Army recruiting station. Now, Act Two of The Letter, starring Dennis O'Keefe as Sergeant Warshock. After some spirited fighting, the Allied forces took Sicily. Then the 3rd Division pushed into southern Italy. Bitter combat and costly casualties accompanied the landing at Salerno, but the Allied forces fought their way to the Volturno River. Here the armies halted for preparation for a large-scale crossing. 3rd Division Sergeant Warshock and his men have taken up a position and are digging in. Every night, vigorous patrolling missions go out, and the rest of the men crouch in their dugouts. Hey, Ugly. Who are you calling Ugly? You poor man's Frankenstein. Hey, I just wanted to find out. When's this war gonna be over? Oh, sometime next week. Haven't you heard? Ah, uh, why next week? Because I got a date at the Palladium next month, and I couldn't possibly break it. Uh -huh. That's why. Hey, Benson, maybe you know. Know what? Well, we're very interested in your opinion as to just when the shooting will stop. How should I know? I'm not running it. That's a good thing for the rest of us. Here you are, lover boys. Latest sugar reports from your sweeties. 
You got a letter, Benson? Sure, he got a letter. He gets lots of letters. Hey, hey, listen to this. Boy, I don't know what I got that the women go for. <laughs> you remember my girlfriend? Well, I know this is silly of me, but which one, Casanova? You know, the one in Cucamonga. Oh, oh, that one. Yeah, listen to this. I can't tell you what your letters have meant to me. Your letters have been the turning point in my life, and I just want you to know how happy they have made me. Tomorrow, I... Well, go on. What else does she say? Tomorrow, I am going to marry the postman. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 okay. <laughs> okay, you lugs, break it up. Watch those lights. Want us all to get the Purple Hearts? The squad's going out on patrol again tonight. Uh-uh. Leave all identification here and get some mud on your faces. That Lux complexion will be spotted a mile off. Benson? Yes, Sarge? You and Williams remain back here and cover this position. Okay, sir. We're going about three hours. The rest of you ready? Okay, let's go. If we have any guests while I'm gone, tell them to wait in my private office. <laughs> Patrol. Patrol, they never end. What are you muttering about, Benson? Uh, nothing. Look, I'm going to get a, try and get a little shut-eye, okay? Okay, Williams. <sighs> you keep your eyes open. Yeah, I'll do that. What's that? A letter from home. Oh. From your wife? Mm-hmm. Hmm. It's funny. I can almost hear her voice as she wrote this. I can almost hear her voice. My darling, I miss you terribly. I wish you were here with me. How brave you are to face what you must each day. And how proud I am of you. Darling, I wrote to you about the serious operation the doctor said would have to be performed. It was performed last week. I wanted your help so badly. I thought I would surely hear from you, but then I know how the mail is. Darling, I, I got so terribly frightened when I thought of going to the hospital and the operation. But then I thought of you and... I really believe I lived through those moments with your strength. I went through the operation, dearest, knowing that the danger I faced was really very small compared to the things that must face your brave heart every day. Till I see you again, all my love, your devoted wife, Myrna. Hey, Benson. Uh, you still reading that letter? Yeah. Oh. Everything all right at home? Everything's all right at home. Say, come to think of it, I wonder where that patrol is. Haven't they been out there a pretty long time? Hear anything, Washa? Yeah. Yeah, behind that mound up ahead. Sounded like Jerry. We better pull back. We're too far forward. No. No, I want to know what's up there. You wait here with the man. I'm going to crawl up for a look-see. Stand fast. Yeah, okay. Bell gate! Bell gate! I'm at corner! Oh, Sarge. Sarge, where are you? I, I can't move. They got me in the leg. Go on back. Take off. Place is crawling with Heine. But we can't leave. Go you. on. Go back. Get out of here. Yeah, but we They're can't. They're zeroed in on you. You hear? Beat it. Okay, but we'll be back. <laughs> Look, Jerry, I'm wounded. I'm wounded, see? He wounded. that. He wounded. that. How about getting me to an aid man? What organization? <laughs> what outfit you from? I go fly a kite. We feel. How many men you have? Sergeant Bill Warshak, serial number 32135365. That's all, brother. American is a schwein. Yeah, you lousy boss. We'll fix your wagon yet. Bellgate! Camarade! Camarade! Don't shoot! Camarade! Americana! I'm giving up. I surrender. Benson. Deserting to the enemy. Well, that does it. Here's my rifle. It's not loaded. It's a... By the other soldier. Yeah, over there. Get away from me. 
Get away from me, Benson. I don't even want to be near you. Sarge, I'm not deserting. No? Well, what the devil do you call this? Listen, what? I followed the patrol out. What for? I got a letter from... Well, never mind that. I heard you ran into this machine gun. The rest of the gang passed by me going back. I figured I could do something for you here. Uh, you sure picked the hard way. What can you do now? We're prisoners. And me? I got a bad leg. Yeah, but I'm all right. Uh-huh. There's three of them and a machine gun. Listen. Careful. Careful what you say. The guys are listening. Yeah, I know. You see that, uh, that Buck Rogers in his hand? What is that Buck Rogers? Oh, that's, uh, that's my uncle. Uncle? Yeah, yeah, that uncle. What are you trying to do? If I can get him over here, I'll pull a Dick Tracy. We'll have a photo finish. Photo? You have a photograph? Yeah, yeah. A secret photo. Come here. I'll show you. Come on over here. Let me see. What kind of photo you... No! Oh! <laughs> Hey, uh, what are we going to do about Sergeant Warshock, Corporal? Well, there's not a devil of a lot we can do now, Russo. Well, you figure he's all right? He was alive when we pulled out. <sighs> I don't know. He was wounded pretty bad. He'll be lucky if they don't finish him off. I should hope not. He was a good guy. Yeah. Too bad it wasn't Benson instead of him. How long has Benson been gone? Well, William said he must have taken off soon after we started out on the patrol. He left for a little while. When he came back, Benson was gone. Looks like for good. Yeah. Yeah, I'd hate to be in his shoes when they find him. That's desertion, isn't it, Corporal? <laughs> you bet you're a sweet mess kid it is. Well, he asked for it. He sure did. Moody guy. Hey, listen. Huh? Somebody out there. Get your rifle ready. Yeah. Who's there? Speak up or I'll let you have it. It's me. Benson. Don't shoot. I found Warshock. Oh. Benson? Well, where is he? I left him a few yards back. I couldn't carry him any further. Russo, go out and bring Warshock in. Okay. What were you doing out there? I followed the squad out. The Jerry's had Warshock prisoner. And we pulled a fast one on him with their machine gun. Killed them all. Well, how is he? Is he hurt bad? Well, he's lost a lot of blood, but he's going to be all right. It's his leg. Huh. Benson, you, you sure had me fooled. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Oh! Hey, hey you're hurt. Oh, caught some lead from a Jerry rifle back there. Have they brought the sergeant in yet? Yeah, they're out getting him now. Look, man, we got to get you two to an aid station, pronto. Hey, Sarge, where are we? Uh, hi, now, we're in a field hospital. Where'd you think we were, in the Waldorf Astoria? <laughs> hey, how you doing, fella? Okay, Doc says he's afraid I'm going to live. How about you? Me? Uh, I'm too mean to die. <laughs> yeah, I know. Hey, you gold bricks, I got news for you. How you doing, Sarge? I said, uh, how you doing, Sarge? You must have stood too near to an anti-tank gun. The Sarge is in the next bed. Oh, you I'm talking to. Your name's Benson, ain't it? Oh, sure, but... Yeah, then you're the one. Lieutenant sent me to tell you. You've been promoted to sergeant. Me? Uh, a sergeant? <laughs> That's right. Well, well, how do you like that? I'd like it all right. Did you hear that, Sarge? Sure, sure, I heard it. But then you want to know something? I knew it was going to happen to you right from the very beginning. Hey, uh, you got a cigarette, kid? Sure. And Warshock. Yeah? <laughs> You're an awful liar, Warshock. Uh, um, uh, hey, you got any... Uh, here's your matches, Warshock. Uh, thanks. Uh, thanks, Benson, for, uh, for the matches. Hey, Corporal. Uh, yeah, was it something? Uh, yeah, uh, how about handing me that pencil and paper there, will you? Sure. I gotta write a letter to my wife. Curtain falls in the final act of the letter. Our star, Dennis O'Keefe, returns for a curtain call right after this timely message from Wendell Niles. A mighty fine record was chalked up by the 3rd Division in the World War II. And here is another important peacetime assignment for that distinguished U.S. Army Division. Units of the 3rd Division are being recruited to full strength for duty at Fort Benning, Georgia. And here's where you veterans of the 3rd come in. 
you have priority on jobs with that unit. Yes, if you qualify and enlist for three years, you'll be assigned directly to the 7th Infantry Regimental Combat Team. You'll have an interesting peacetime job with the infantry school. If your service is satisfactory, you'll remain with that unit for your entire enlistment. Yes, sir, that 3rd Division blue and white shoulder patch is a mark of distinction. And you former members of other Army units are eligible, too, if you apply while there are still openings. So veterans, take advantage of this. Get all of the facts at your nearest U.S. Army recruiting station now. Here again is our star, Dennis O'Keefe, and our producer. Returning now for a curtain call is our proudly we hail star, Dennis O'Keefe, who will soon enlarge his imposing list of motion picture credits when he picks up a megaphone to become an actor-director. Dennis, we thank you for a very sincere portrayal of Sergeant Warsock in our program dedicated to the 3rd Infantry Division. Well, that's very kind of you, C.P. It was a privilege to appear. Quite a war record, that of the 3rd. Yes, Dennis, indeed. Ever since 1798, when the 7th Regiment was formed, and what a record in this war. Four amphibious landings, eight campaign stars, 33 Congressional Medal of Honor winners, not to mention an itinerary that included Casablanca, Messino, Anzio, the Vosges Mountains, Strasbourg, and Munich. Well, C.P., I know that every American remembers with real pride the magnificent record of all our great fighting divisions, among which the 3rd Infantry Division takes an honored place. But now, before I get away, C.P., what's your playbill going to read for next time? Next week, we're proud to present a truly outstanding dramatic event here on Proudly We Hail, when we bring you the story of great emotional impact, Pilgrimage to Nazareth. It's a story of inspiration, a tender love story, one with particular appeal for the women of our audience. And our star will be none other than that romantic favorite of two continents, Jean-Pierre Aumont. Oh, well, viva la France. Sounds like you have a real show there, C.P., I'll be listening. And for now, goodbye. Goodbye, Dennis O'Keefe. Goodbye. Thanks again for a sincere performance. Be sure to join us next week, ladies and gentlemen, for a dramatic highlight on Proudly We Hail when we present that popular star, Jean-Pierre Aumont. Until next week, this is C.P. McGregor saying thanks for listening and cheerio from Hollywood. <laughs> Courtesy of the Hollywood Coordinating Committee, which arranges for the appearance of all stars on this program. The story was by W. James Baskin, with the orchestra under the direction of Eddie Scrivan. Proudly We Hail is transcribed in Hollywood for release at this time. Don't forget next week, Proudly We Hail stars Jean-Pierre Omas. Wendell Niles speaking. <laughs>